Hey everybody, this is Pistar I know. Um, today's video, I'm going to go over some stuff I've received lately. Uh, go over some progress notes and also let you know of my next build after these four. Uh, that's right, I'm going to have another build, a fifth build at the same time. I've had other builds, obviously, but... Five at the same time I've never done. Four at the same time I've never done, so. The TRX4M keeps going and going. Um, I know a lot of people have asked about, you know, what's what's the best? What's your best mods? Um, and so, I'm not going over that in this video. But be assured, I will put out a couple videos. Uh, once I get these four done, I'll explain what I believe is the best and why I believe it's the best. I mean, if you go through a lot of my videos, you'll notice what I use and why I use them. So it shouldn't be a big surprise to anybody um, that actually subscribes to the channel, um, but uh, I'll do it anyway. Um, talking about subscriptions, we hit our 250 mark. So that means this Friday, I will be doing two giveaways. What I'll do is I will randomize one winner. I will take that winner out of the group and then I will randomize for a second winner so that we have two separate winners, not one guy that gets both choices. So that's what I'll do. I'll do that on Friday at some point. Um, Next couple days, I might be a little quiet because I've got um, some appointments I got to go to. Uh, so I don't know if I'll have time to record videos. Supposedly, all my stuff is coming in this week. So all my chassis and all that, so I can get all that done. But <clears throat> that is to be seen if that happens. Um, just a reminder, this is Pissed Rhino, and this is the Pissed Rhino Show. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that full of myself that I think this is a show. This is just a, a video that I titled a, a show just for fun. So, alright, so let's get into some stuff. <clears throat> this is from... 3Flow9RC, the Flow Hub Caps. Uh, let's open it up and show you a little up close. So what you get is you get four of what they're calling hub caps. And these, if you have extensions, these are basically extension nuts with this big stainless steel lug so and then it comes with four of those and then it comes with the tool so if you put this on the tool you can see how it works it fits together great and then this is your Lug nut. Those are pretty cool. Uh, one thing I did find out. Um, I have the tr the Mias extensions on this truck. On blue truck. And the extensions. These nuts were too long. So I had to sand off. Some of the length. On the inside obviously. Not the outside. But you can see how they look on the truck. I think they look great. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Don't you agree? I agree. So there you have it. That's the... Three Flow Nine RC lug nuts. Pretty cool. 
All right. Rearrange here. Um, and they always send a gas tank, a propane tank. So, so far I have uh, three different propane tanks, one bigger than the other. But um, that's our new order from 3Flow 9RC. Pretty cool. They finally got some cool stickers, some die cut stickers. Anyway. All right, so let's move blue chunk out of the way. Clear table. Um, another thing I got, I got two more of these batteries. Ovonic high discharge, which is ADC. So they're 850, ADCs, 3S. So, anyway. I like these batteries. I'll have one of these in every, every gripper. And I think I might have dedicated batteries per truck. Uh, so I don't have to take the batteries out every time. Although it's easier now that I know how to do it. Uh, and when I say know how to do it, let me show you. So you've got two screws in the front here. To hold the interior on. And then it kind of hooks here in the back. Well, all you got to do is push forward on the seats. That pops up. And then you slide it right out. If you don't have an excessively long antenna like I do, you can slop it up. You can push it out the front window. It's probably the best. Yeah, dang you, man. You freaking... So, there. And then you can just... Pull out the battery and slide it out a window or out the back. If you want to remove it. Me, I'll just disconnect the battery cable. And connect the charger and charge the dang thing in there. And then I'll just put it back together. I love how all my stuff's hidden. No wires all fl flinging around. So then to put it back, you slide it under those two screws in the front. Pop in the back, and then it's just like new. Once side panels are on, you'll never see a thing. So that's why I'm probably gonna go um, keep the same battery in every chassis. Anyway, that's my thoughts behind it. Next up. I know this ain't going to be for everybody, but for me, Interna Servo Mount V100. This is for low C's. Uh, it doesn't say which low C on the back, but anyway. You can see it's a little stand. And then a short antenna cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this, this piece onto the truck, put my antenna into this, and then I'll have like a little, you know, thing out the back somewhere, maybe right off the center, like a flag, and I might even put a flag on it so it doesn't look bad, but that's my thought process. This is ridiculous. Radio. I can't even remember the name of it. Radio Link. Gee whiz. I'm losing my mind. Radio Link can do better than this. I don't know. 
why it's got to be 10 feet long. So I'll just coil it up inside and then I'll put a little antenna here and we'll have, maybe I'll get a big rebel flag and hang from it. That's what all the trucks around here have. Woohoo! Anyway, so I got four of those, one for each truck. And of course, that's before I came up with the fifth truck, which I might as well talk about now. So, oh, fifth truck. I've got a lot of parts laying around, and I got a lot of parts that I extra ordered for my four builds. So, I'm going to try um, and do a build. A cheaper build um, so far what I've got you know I've got the Endura tarantula chassis and I'm also gonna have an orange um, ripper so it might either be an orange ripper or a tarantula Endura tarantula I haven't decided yet I'd probably do the tarantula just to be different since everything else is top of the line ripper stuff and then as you know I got a rear so this will not be four wheel steer this will just be normal steer um, I've got a red base plate that has some stains on the bottom of it um, that I got a replacement for and they let me keep that one so I've got that one might as well use it I've got an extra set of trio lowers links all I need is the uppers I've got two more of these the enjoyer lights I got the red enjoyer shocks since you know I put the trail red shocks on the red ripper um, so this will be this is an extra set that I just have laying around now uh, I got a set of Mias drive shafts that I'm not a fan of, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I've got these if I need them. Um, I got these. I got an extra set of trio weights, just depends on which wheels I want to run. Um, I got another, I'm thinking about ordering a set of DJ crawler pins. <clears throat> Everybody seems to be on this bandwagon and again, I don't like the tires, but if that's what you guys want to see. I mean, I'm, I'm down for buying a set. What I would do is I'd put those on my Maz Designs wheels that I currently have the Endura pins on that I don't care for at all. So I'd put the DJ Crawler big ass 68 millimeters on those. Um, well, here I'll show you if I can slide around without hitting the camera. Oh, I didn't show you these either, so I gotta show you these. So. The other day I was building wheels, and so these are the Enjora wheels, black obviously, with the black Enjora um, beadlock ring with my scale hardware. And LGRP what? Swamp Kings MT LGRP. So I built these up so I can put these on a build because they're not slotted for anything. So, so these are what I have extra. I have these Endures um, with the LGRPs, and LGRP is what I have on everything. So, I mean, that would make the most sense. But then I have these. I love these wheels, but I've never been able to use them because um, 
well one I mounted these tires on them and I hate these tires and two we didn't have any wheel weights that could fit in the back but now I do these will fit right in there so to me that's an A++ and we need to put these wheels on something so my thought process was I could buy another set of LGRP tires and put on here and that would just I mean, that's the best tire, but it's kind of like, I don't know, you, at my bench here, you see the same thing over and over again. So I was thinking about ordering the pen set of the DJ Crawlers, uh, and put those on these little wheels, and that should look pretty good, I would think. Or, if nobody takes these in the giveaway, but I bet they do. I could use these DJ crawlers and just put that wheel in there. But I'm sure these will be taken in the giveaway. I'd almost guarantee it. These and a couple chassis. But so after the giveaway, I'll decide which wheels and tires I want to do on it. Um, I'd like to do these wheels, I think, or at least get these wheels to where I'd use them. But then again, I have this whole set of Endurers here. Um, it's a, and they have the weights in them. And I wouldn't put any weights in the DJ crawlers because they're just going to fall over. There's no way I could do weights. So... Anyway, that's what I have so far for this vehicle. I've got drive shafts that I don't care for, but I'd use until I decided to get something new. Got shocks, got lowers. So I do a set of upper brass. It's 20 bucks. Um, trail transmission mounts. Mia's portal axle for the rear and then the tarantula chassis so basically I would need a set of upper links and then a servo because I have a front I already have a front drive shaft coming or not drive shaft but axle housing um, portals because um, I've purchased one too many um, so I got one coming for the green build and then I have one that doesn't have a build so it'll go to this and so then all I would need is a servo and motor I've got a transmission I've got the red transmission with the Endura stainless steel gears in it so that transmission I'll be using. So literally, motor, ESC, and servo are the only things I don't have. So if there's anybody out there that works for companies that make servos or brushless systems and they want it to be shown off, um, send me a message. Um, I'll gladly do some advertising for you to get that set up I'll do that on the tarantula uh, just so I can finish that build otherwise it'll just sit here as a no electronics which that's fine too I mean I really don't need any more to drive around I've got a whole fleet um, but eventually I'm gonna sell some of these once they're all done and everybody gets to see how badass they are I will likely sell two or three of them. So the tarantula might be a good one that I build up, make nice, and sell too. So if you want your servo showing off me, send me another servo. Send me the black one, the lower, 9.5. That'd be nice. I got the 12s in the other one. So a 9.5 would be good for the tarantula because I'm not going to have any weights in the tire, so big boys not needed so 
smaller kilogram servo. The only problem is, is the motor and ESC. I mean, all I use is Furtech so far because nobody's proven that they make anything good enough. Uh, I bought that $26 motor and ESC and it worked for a while and then it didn't work as well as much anymore and then it kind of faded out. Um, that's, at least that's what the buyer told me. The buyer bought that one um, and he drove it around for a little bit and it was fast and fun and then it, it just started slowing down so um, I gave him a partial refund so he could get, the, get that fixed. So, if there's any ESC motor, brushless motor suppliers that have a 118 scale setup, send it to me. Let me prove that it's better than Furitech or worse than Furitech. Um, that'd be fun. But I don't think there's anybody out there that has anything close to Furitech, so... I'm not counting my chickens. Uh, what else? So that's the fifth build. Um, other than that, I think we're golden. I think that's it. If the other chassis, like I said, all the chassis and everything are supposed to show up this week. So hopefully I can get those done. Get all the parts out to the wrapper guy and have him wrap all the parts get them back together and show them off to everybody all right guys that's it we're rolling into 23 minutes right now so that's usually as far as i like to go um so thanks for watching be watching Friday because we're doing two drawings for the giveaway on Friday. Gonna be giving away some chassis, some wheels and tires, some whatever else they need. Uh, and then after that, we gotta hit 300. Once we hit 300, which is less than 50 away now, I'll do another giveaway. So we could be doing another giveaway next week. If everybody helps out, Gets us some subscribers, some people watching videos. I mean, we got some videos get, you know, 13, 1400 views. Uh, but we still only have 250 subscribers, so. And I don't want to be the guy that puts subscribe and, you know, blow up the, you know, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Hit this, hit that. I don't know. You guys know what to do. And I only want people in here that like the hobby. I don't want a bunch of random likes and follows. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch Friday. And thank you all very much for helping me make this into something enjoyable. And I do enjoy it. So... That's all for now from Pissed Rhino. Thanks, everybody.